All right, so we checked out Walmart last week, and uh, this is what was on the shelf there at their fresh restock. It had some of those basketball tins you've been seeing lately. A little overpriced for the two optic and two prism packs, if you're asking me, but the tins are cool. Uh, had really everything there that you would expect right now. Um, also, some more tins there, and uh, did see some update hangers, as you can see there. Didn't grab those because I don't really do a ton of baseball here. Uh, but a lot of everything there um, did not pick up anything because it wasn't anything I was looking to grab there. Then we went to our local Target next, and big restock there, fresh restock. As you can see, the shelves are full. Uh, Boba Fett blasters and soccer blasters didn't pick up either because I had both uh, two coming for Charlie, and I had my own soccer blaster, which I will rip in a minute. What's up, guys? So you saw there, went to a couple stores. I believe it was last week, late in the week. Um, did hit a couple restocks, but, you know, I think it's a good time in the hobby to show some discretion. Um, there's not always stuff out there that's worth picking up. Just because you make a little trip to the store doesn't mean you have to get something. Uh, you did see some of the Prism Soccer there and the, um, the Boba Fett Blasters, but I already picked up some of those for Charlie. So, and I already had a, a Prism Soccer Blaster kind of lying around here, so didn't pick up anything, but did want to show you all what was on the shelves. We have a ton of stuff to get into. First of all, please like and subscribe. Uh, getting really close to 500. Um, may not wait till I get there because it's taking forever, but going to do this giveaway here. Uh, giving away all of these cards. Lots of Wilsons. We'll see what he ends up coming back from. But there's definitely some cool stuff in here. The Fields, who's looking like maybe the best guy in the class out of 2021. Um, and also, you know, a little autograph action from R.J. Nemhard and uh, Silver Trey Murphy. He's playing pretty well this year, so that's actually kind of a valuable card. But said I'd give it away, and I still will. You just have to uh, like and subscribe and comment uh, on one of the past videos. I'll put a link in the description to one of those videos here that you can get in on. Um, going to be kind of a hard time tracking down everybody who entered the contest, but I will do my best. And we'll have that giveaway coming soon. Um, yeah, so I'm not really planning on um, ripping again uh, today. I'm going to rip this real quick, but before that, I wanted to get into a mail day of sorts. A uh, friend of the jan channel, Josh, is of course in South Africa, so uh, I've been kind of picking stuff up for him at his request. When I'm out and about, if I see stuff, I let him know. He tells me, yeah, I want that. No, I don't want that. Uh, maybe I can put a little picture in the editing process here of the stack of cards that I had for him. But other friend of the channel, his brother Aaron, came over to pick that stuff up for him to get it off to him in South Africa when his parents go visit. I know, a lot of convoluted story here. But uh, he had some stuff for me on my, my, mail, my own mail day, and um, it was just an in-person mail day. But let's get into those real quick. This was the one I was definitely most excited about. Jameson Williams is back, and this is from uh, Chronicles Draft here, the recon set. And that, as you can see, is 2 out of 10. So super generous, awesome gesture for him to give me this. Uh, he's a Jets fan, so I give him my Jets stuff, but this, uh, I, I own one because some of this stuff is better than the stuff I had for him. I've been stacking up Zach Wilson's for him for a while. Uh, Wilson isn't what he used to be as far as the hobby's concerned. We'll see what happens with him. But anyways, super thankful to Aaron for these cards. This was an awesome one. Two of 10, Jameson Williams. Uh, also, the gold Amon Ra and the base Amon Ra. So I am going to hopefully uh, complete my retail Amon Ra <laughs> mosaic rainbow. They do have the green and the yellow as well. Uh, so I'm just going to need a pink, I guess, and a Genesis, of course. Uh, all right, and then this is a sweet one. Um, you all know my love for Josh Allen. The Bills have kind of become my B team just because I like watching this guy play. That's my fantasy quarterback right here. And this was one of the cooler inserts out of Donruss this year, the Out of This World. Uh, so really happy to get this one as well. Sweet looking card, awesome player. We'll see what happens. I love the NFL this year. I think it's so wide open in the AFC. Uh, you kind of got the Chiefs, the Bills, and the Bengals probably would be who I predict will be there. And then other some other Lions stuff here, including a Stafford rookie, Football Heroes 2009 Upper Deck. That was very cool to get as well. Stafford, of course, is having a rough year which is greatly benefiting my Lions. And Jared Goff, a guy who I'm really <laughs> starting to enjoy uh, as the Lions quarterback, he's playing really well. And let's talk about these Lions for a minute. That's a cool one too, limited. Um, so yeah, a lot of cool stuff from Aaron. Billy Sims, all time great there. 
Really appreciate it, Aaron. Thank you so much. Um, let's talk about the Lions a little bit. They look good. Uh, you know, as a Lions fans, your expectations are always low and your hopes are always high. I just hope they can keep it up. I'm not sure they will. But hey, maybe they make a playoff run. It would be awesome. Um, they look healthy for the first time all year. You have Amon Ra running around healthy. Chark was back healthy. Swift finally looked like his old self after the 10-day layoff from Thanksgiving. So super excited to see what this team does the rest of the year. They probably have to win out or at least win four out of the last five to make the playoffs. That is a very tall order, starting with the Vikings this week. Oddly enough, they're favored against the 10-2 Vikings, which tells you what Vegas thinks of the Lions. They think they're pretty good, too. Um, we'll see. I am, like I said, very hopeful, but I expect nothing because you can't let yourself <laughs> expect too much of the Lions. Uh, let's get into our last Prism Soccer Blaster. United States, unfortunately, eliminated from the World Cup, but was a very nice run. I don't know that... Uh, maybe next World Cup we will be able to get out of the knockout stages and into the quarterfinals. Um, out of the teams left, I'm going to say you got to give the edge to Brazil, probably. Maybe Argentina. Portugal looked nasty in their game against Switzerland, 6-1. Uh, to one. So it's also wide open. Should be fun to watch the quarterfinals and see what happens. Now, this is a fun product. Um, very high ceiling of these with, I did pull a nice Tiago autograph out of the last blaster I opened. Uh, the green waves are cool. You're bound to get some numbered stuff eventually. I've only opened a couple of them and have not gotten anything numbered, but I did get the auto, like I said. And the case hits are awesome too. I'm not expecting anything crazy out of here, but uh, a fun rip. And you really never know what you're going to get out of here. Let's uh, send the United States team off with one last soccer rip on the channel. Uh, you can expect another one probably in four years. <laughs> I do like some of the soccer cards coming out, but I am a football and basketball guy first. So, hey, there's a good one. It's a good player for Brazil there. Uh, don't know that guy. Tunisia. That's probably why. And this is a, is that Croatia? They're still in there. I can't remember who they're playing. And a Matthew Ryan, Australian keeper there. I can't remember who Croatia is. I think Croatia's got a tough draw like Brazil or Argentina or one of the big dogs. Interesting to see Spain go down. Not expecting that at all. Let's see, back here we got a green wave. Phil Foden. England and France should be a really nice matchup. Here in Timber. The Netherlands. Hey, Sadio Main, that's a good one. On the green wave, nice color match with Senegal. Shout out to Josh here. I'm sure he likes this one. I don't think he's playing this World Cup, but he would be their best player if he was. And then Morocco. Yami Doku. Aronson. Kind of the first reserve on the team there for the United States this year. Garrett Bale, best player on Wales. All right, we got a silver prism in here. Uh, let's not even try to pronounce some of these names. Not a lot of rookies in here so far. Matthew Ryan on the silver. There we go. Two packs left. Kind of uneventful. But you never know when something big could happen. Neymar Jr. Furuhashi. Manana. Kano. All right. And the last pack here. We're going to some last pack mojo. We can open the pack at all, that is. All right. Oh, there's blue in there. Something numbered. That's nice. Uh, Jordan Pickford. Hate him. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Upside down there. It is a blue, so it's going to be to 199. And it's going to be Argentina. All right. Leandro Paredes. So that's cool. Let's see, that's numbered to 199. 
Always a fun rip here. All right, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will get to the giveaway soon. Also planning on doing a uh, kind of review of the predictions I had in NFL for the year. See how they're going. Um, I did do a, a predicted every division in the league, so I will play that back and see how bad or how good I did. I think I did pretty bad, probably, but we'll check it out when we get to it. Uh, probably not going to be ripping much until Christmas, but stay tuned for the giveaway and, like I said, the review of the preview. All right, later, guys.